If you thought Alina Habba was the most incompetent person that Donald Trump has serving on any of his legal teams, then you may need to think again. I know it's hard to believe, but apparently the rest of Donald Trump's legal team might be just as dumb as her. You see this week on Monday, as we all know, Judge Tanya Chutkin slapped a partial gag order on Donald Trump. And he immediately announced that afternoon, I'm going to appeal it. So on Tuesday, his lawyer, John Loro and uh, Todd Blanche filed their motion to appeal in the uh, district appellate court system in Washington, DC, right? Simple enough, right? Hey, we, we, we got this order. We don't like this order. We're appealing it. We signed our names to it. And then on Wednesday, the clerk of the court sent a letter to Trump lawyer, John Loro, informing him that, Hey man, um, we actually can't accept this motion that you filed because as it turns out, you're not a member of our bar. So we therefore cannot accept this, this motion or any future motion from you. Uh, all you got to do is join the bar, right? I mean, so you just fill out some paperwork here, get it to us by November 2nd. And then at that point we'll let you in and you can file your motions, but, um, you, you can't file the motions before you do the paperwork to join the bar which, which by the way, is actually something that, that most lawyers would know, especially one who spent four decades practicing law as Lauro claims he has been. Now, this is a minor issue, right? All he has to do again, he fills out the paperwork, they'll accept it, they'll take the motion, and then we'll go from there. But not knowing, either not knowing that you weren't a member of that bar, or not knowing that you had to be a member of that bar, Wh whichever one of those it was, because it has to be one of those two. Um, holy crap, that's a pretty big mistake from a lawyer. Let me put it to you this way. Uh, my day job, right? I work in a law firm. It, it is one of the most successful plaintiff's law firms in the United States of America. I can promise you, knowing those lawyers there, that if they had a lawyer that filed a motion in a district or a court or whatever, where they were not allowed to file a motion, that would be the last action that that lawyer ever took as a member of that law firm. They would likely be fired on the spot for such gross and embarrassing incompetence. And these are the kinds of people that are representing Donald Trump today. It may seem like a minor thing, right? It's just a minor oversight. Even Loro said like, Hey, I've been practicing law here for 40 years. I'm a member of this bar. I'm a member of the district bar. I'm just not a member of the appellate bar and I'll get it remedied. Yeah. It actually would have been better if you were like, ah, I'm sorry. I've only been practicing law for like 20 minutes. I, I didn't realize that I'll get it taken care of. But when you throw in the, yeah, I've been doing this for 40 years, that actually makes it worse, right? Like we expect people who are brand new at this to make, you know, stupid mistakes when you've been doing it for four decades, idiotic paperwork mistakes like this become completely unacceptable. So, you know, brag about how long you've been doing this all you want. It actually makes your mistakes seem so much worse. And again, these are the kinds of people Donald Trump attracts because apparently lawyers who actually know how to do paperwork don't want to waste their time on a client who, as we found out, may not even end up paying these lawyers to begin with. So there's that, but yeah, best of luck finding new lawyers, Donald, because so far, every time you hire a new one, they somehow manage to be even dumber than the ones you're replacing. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.